بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you are all well Today إن شاء الله I want to continue period 4 from unit 1 page 9 and 10 We have discussed this before with this objective To join sentences using connectors accurately What are the connectors? We have talked about both and either or neither nor And we have discussed that the meaning of this before both and means the two of them both and means the two of them either or means this one or that one one or another neither nor used in negative construction so means neither one nor the other not this one and not the other one not this one and not the other one these are the meanings now look at the, these examples that we have discussed before. Let's revise them. This way of learning is good. It's also effective. We want to describe this way of learning using this adjective, good, and that adjective, effective. So we want to talk about two of these adjectives. So we use both and. This way of learning is both good and effective. I can't work fast and also work perfectly at the same time. So. I want also to talk about these adverbs fast and perfectly. So we use both and. I can't work both fast and perfectly. And we notice that here we use both and in the middle of the sentence and also we use both and in the middle of the sentence. Let's see the other examples. You can phone me or you can send me an email. Here we have two options. So we use either or because we want the meaning of this one or that one. So you can either phone me or send an email. Here we have two options or here we offer a choices between two possibilities, phone or send. I am on the right side or he is on the right side. So either or, either I or he is on the right side. We notice that also we use either or in the middle, here either or at the beginning of the sentence. His proposal wasn't good, also it wasn't practical. So we negate this adjective for the proposal and also practical, negate it. So we use neither nor because we want the meaning of not this one, not this one and not that one. So his proposal was neither good nor practical. Now we want to explain either or neither nor both and at the front of the sentence, not in the middle, not in the middle. So look at these examples here. Either you tell me how to do it or you will do it by yourself. So we use either or at the front of the sentence either you tell me to do how to do it or you will do it by yourself so here notice that either or used in affirmative sentence affirmative sentence also why we use this because here we offer two choices the first choice you tell me how to do it the second one you will do it by yourself so to offer a choice between two possibilities or to express a cause, effect, effect, or relationship. Either coffee or tea is required. Either coffee or tea to offer choices. Or we have two options here. So we use either or at the front of the sentence. Look at the third example. Neither Hiba nor Suha has to go to work tomorrow. So he, here we use neither nor in a negative construction. A negative construction. We negate that Hiba has to go to work tomorrow and also Suha. So here not this one and not, not that one. It's a negative construction. And we use it at the front of the sentence. Also example number four. Neither Ahmad nor Ali does the homework. Ahmad, does, uh, Ahmad doesn't do his homework and also Ali doesn't do his Homework. Neither Ahmed nor Ali does the homework. Why we use does here? Does. Remember that neither 
conjugated in the singular in the singular so here we use neither nor neither nor at the beginning of the sentence at the front of the, of the sentence but notice the verb has to does we deal with it as a singular neither conjugated in the singular sentences singular so we use the verb here has to does about either either coffee or tea either if we start it with the front or we start it at the beginning of the sentence or we use it at the first so we uh, we look to the second option if it is singular we use the verb in singular way and if it is a plural we use the plural verb now both both and both Rami and his brother are playing tennis both Rami and his brother are playing tennis we use both and at the front of the sentence and notice the verb that we use is a plural both and so it's a plural now let's see the examples in our book page 9 here it's impossible to be a social learner and a solitary learner at the same time so it's impossible impossible to be both a social learner and solitary learner we talk here to about the true facts or ideas then you may work best on your own or you may work best with others you may work best either on your own or with others we talk about what here two possible ideas or choices and individual learning styles aren't simple also they aren't fixed individual learning styles are neither simple nor fixed here we talk about two negative or impossible ideas or choices let's complete let's complete the grammar rule here we use both and to talk about what two true facts or ideas so here we can match them we'll see we use either or to talk about what two possible ideas or choices match them with a we use either or to talk about uh, no here a So the answers are C, A, B. And here, notice that the word or phrase that follows both either or neither must be similar, similar to the word or phrase that follows and or nor. Noun phrase, adverb phrase, infinitive verb form, etc. Now let's answer the exercise page 10 exercise number two fill in the gaps fill in the gaps in these sentences with both and either or or neither nor number one in this country 16 year old olds can stay at school leave and get job here we have two possible choices so we can use either or because also it's affirmative so here we can write either and here or second one the plan has advantages disadvantages so we used to talk about this one this one advantages and that one disadvantages so there is no choices it's true facts or ideas so here we can write both and here we can write and third one you support me you support me you are against me here we have two choices support me against me so we can write either and it's at the front of the sentence 
either either you support me or you are against me there is no middle way number four I agree and disagree with what she says I don't know enough about the subject he is it's a negative choice so it's a negative possibilities so we can use neither neither here I neither agree nor disagree with what she says number five a c is correct so the right answer is b the right answer is b so neither a and nor c is correct here we use neither at the front of the sentence neither a nor c is correct and notice the verb here is conjugated as singular the verb here is is singular labeling a student as a slow learner is unhelpful unfair we want to describe labeling the student as, as a slow learner with these two adjectives unhelpful and unfair so we can use both both and Now, exercise number three, rewrite the sentences and one as one sentence using both and either or or neither nor. And this is as a homework in your drafts. Here we have the sample answer for exercise number three. You can take the screenshot and write your uh, the answer and correct if there is any mistake. Number one, you need to focus on the general idea. You need to focus on the details too. We want to use both and so you need to focus on both the general and the idea and the details. Number two, we can stop and have a break or we can keep working either or. We have two options. So we can either stop and have a break or keep working. Number three, this way of learning is useful. It's also fun both and this way of learning is both fun and useful his suggestion was helpful also it wasn't practical we want to you talk about uh, negative construction so neither nor his suggestion was neither helpful nor practical number five students don't like the new system their parents agree with them so neither nor at the front of the sentence because the choices or the two possible choices the uh, impossible choices at the start of the two sentences so neither the students nor their parents like the new system number six all learners belong to one of the two groups groups some are solitary others are social either or all learners are either solitary or social these are the correct answers exercise so number four write full sentences using either or both and neither nor here telephone number and email address required and use and here so we need need means required so we need post telephone number and email address choose payment method by check or by card so we have two options we you can pay either by check or by card number three driver and passengers escape accident without injury neither the driver nor the passengers were injured in the accident number four new law necessary and fair says minister the minister thinks the new law is both necessary and fair phone email for more information to get more information either phone or email now open your box page 36 exercise number seven in the middle of the page complete the sentences below with either or both and neither nor number one everyone was worried neither his friends nor his family knew where he was 
neither nor in the middle of the sentence number two you can either phone or send an email which way is easier for you number three both ahmed and his brother are studying at university both ahmed and his brother are studying number four the book is neither funny nor exciting i didn't enjoy it at all i didn't enjoy negative construction so neither nor number five the person in the photo is either a singer or an artist i can't remember well so either or either or now here we have the summative evaluation the last one choose the correct answer neither suha nor muhammad was or were absent neither suha nor muhammad was or were absent look at the two choices suha muhammad suha muhammad we want to talk about what suha and muhammad in the negative construction using neither neither so we use a singular verb the answer here is was now number two either he or i is are on the right side look at the second one i here singular so either he or i is or are on the right side is because it's singular both tom and and love or love traveling puts and plural so the answer is love now this is the last of our lesson the end of our lesson here this exercise is as a homework for the this lesson try to take a screenshot and write them in your copy books thanks a lot